Jazz Classic 2016 Uh, first of all, I'm a New York nigga New kicks, new chicks, and new fitty You can put me anywhere, I'ma kick it 125th G Dep, let's get it I hate when niggas say you make real hip hop I will still fuck your bitch in Gucci flip flops The problem is if I say anything intelligent You call it conscious like it's somehow not relevant I agree that this ain't really for KOD But say la V out the bows in the SUV On my way to the black Oscars The late Oscar grain is getting on it Somebody tell Ryan Coogler he's a monster And Magic and Jordan will be the sponsors The great Quincy Jones will pick the artist For the Robert Glasper ensemble Oh look it's the LeBron sipping on our mom With the Simmons and the Carters and Obamas Alright let me not get your hopes up The joke's up Got you niggas nervous like the ropes up Now I'm not as melanated as the greatest But I know chocolate Lugasa niggas who don't say this Who's the nicest nigga you know of? For every joint that he got, I make four of. Oh, with these six teams, I got more of. Sip something clean, go ahead and roll up. For all the women whose Uggs are not leaning and drugs they're not fiending and love they're not scheming from thugs. Welcome to the Misfits of Comedy Podcast. This is boy. See, they trowels in the house. I have my long time <laughs> surprise guest, co host, Miss African Pentagram. Oh. <laughs> Long time no see, stranger. Uh, yes, it's your girl Ani, aka the African Pinup Girl, aka Ani Winfrey, aka Onda Rhymes. What's really good, everybody? I forgot you have 17 aliases. Um, Whatever. <laughs> it's been a while. What you been up to? Let the, let the folks know what you've been up to. Um, you know, still working on my master's degree. I'm doing a master's degree in education, so I'm working on that. That's taking a lot of my time teaching. During the day, you know, my high school marketing class, doing that, you know, handling my business, writing comedy, trying to get more hosting gigs, trying to get more acting gigs, all that good stuff. So, what about you? What you been up to? Same shit, different toilet. Out here doing podcasts and stuff. I see you. The bearded, what y'all call The The bearded kings. Oh. Out here trying to, you know. Kings. That's what's called, the bearded kings. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Um, Trying to, you know, get promoted. In, in in this corporate world, I'm trying to work on that, the professional stuff, and you know, okay. shows like you said, I'm trying to get these shows, get your get your brand out there, a lot. So we're gonna talk about some things. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's talk about it. Specifically, you, you know, you, you put me on to the Monique comedy special. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You can't even get into that yet. Get in, get into the blue checks first. Get into the How blue checks first. Can we do that? I already started that. Now Get into the blue checks. See, you see, you just came here and already started. Yeah, I know. Trying she, to direct the Why, when the woman gets involved, she's so she's bossy? So, you are. Okay. Like, you're going to redirect the oh, whole God. thing. Oh, God. Don't what be about, like... you, you want to get a blue check? <laughs> nah, I wouldn't pay for no blue check. I mean, basically what they did was they just changed, they diminished the value of it, right? So instead of now it being something sought after, it's just something that anyone can get. So it's just, if it was a stock, it would just... Okay. Yeah, them niggas made what six point five million or some shit. Yeah. Off of these damn checks. And how many of y'all not gonna be able to keep that subscription up? How many of y'all like done subscribe but can't pay the monthly monthly? Okay, how many? It's gonna be a few. It's gonna be quite a few that can't pay it. Let me get your Watch. blue check password. That's all. <laughs> Let me get your blue check password. <laughs> yeah, I just wanna be able to get on there. But and no, say tell me, tell me what like what does it mean if everyone has one? Nothing. It it, it means nothing. Like, the check don't even look like it did. When it first came out, that should look. It looked a little wavy or something on the end, right? Man, they put the wavy, the real wave, fake right? And then if you already was a celebrity and you work for your check, or you was a you know whatever, and you work for your check as an influencer, now anybody could get it. Now anybody I mean, gonna how be in you DMs. Feel? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel, the person that earned it, several million followers and whatever? How do you feel? I mean, what choice do they got? I mean, it's, it's it is what it is. But you know, now the niggas could be in your DMs because before blue check can only see blue check shit. <laughs> So right, now, exactly. So how that go now? So now niggas could talk crazy to celebrities. They'd be like, hey, nigga, you see me. I got a blue check, too. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. No, I think they hey. still got to be following you. Like, in order for people to run, to go directly to your primary, no, they gotta, mm-hmm. you got to be following them back. Nah. Either that or they go to your they still see it. fam or whatever. 
blue check sees verified blue, blue check, check sees, sees blue, blue check yeah i was told by another motherfucker who, who's a blue check see blue check so i talk i talk crazy you that shit will Not pop blue up blue check see blue check yep. i think you i, I don't think you read about that we're gonna have to research uh, you research it y'all leave a you. comment if you know anything about that I really thought that uh, it didn't work you. that way. No. But yeah, blue Talking check is just as cheap little... as a Netflix membership. Blue check don't mean shit. I mean, don't mean shit. I'm I'm not gonna pay for it. I mean, if you if you don't got like, I think it'd be like like a limit. Like if you ain't got like thirty forty thousand people that follow you, I don't see the purpose of you even trying to be verified doing that shit. You can't have. 5,000 people following you want a blue check. No one gives a fuck that you verify. Like, but that's not true, because if you got 5,000 followers, but you got a name for yourself out here, like if you've been in the press, if you done had a show. You can't be in the press with 5,000 Yes, people. you could. Yes, you can. Like some people not the have, same impact. Some people have done a lot. They done made moves. And you only have 5,000 people. Your moves will influence more people to follow not your page. Not all the time, though. Because how many times you've seen a celebrity actually be out here acting or doing whatever and their follower the followership is low for whatever reason I don't know none. for whatever name, reason name some names because i don't know I, I don't know but it exactly happens. because it don't happen it happens i've seen i be seeing rudy poop motherfuckers on had three lines on a goddamn netflix special and i go they shit they got forty thousand people not the Just, rudy poop like they had three lines what the hell is a rudy poop i mean some some fucking role player Oh, and you're like, wow. all right, well, let me see. I never heard this person. They pretty good. <laughs> and you look at this shit, they got 30,000, 40,000. No, I don't want to hear that shit. Okay, so in your mind, what's, the, what's, got, the minimum, got, what's the minimum that you really need to have? I told you, like 30,000, 40,000 before you even look, try to be verified. Before mm. you try to pay for that shit. Mm. I, like so I if said, you got 10,000 followers and you acted on a Tyler Perry show, let's say, you don't have a big role, but you went ahead and got casted on Tyler Perry, you don't got a right to be verified? You shouldn't be verified because you only Had, got 10K? So I watch... A handful of those shows, and I just go to their page just to be seeing. Most of them, the female female actresses, mm -hmm. all of them have at least thirty, forty thousand people. That's not the point. My question is. I mean, you cannot so be on a Tyler if, Perry show, yes, you and, could. and you're not gonna get the photo yes, shit. What if you just got cast? What if you just got cast in a Tyler Perry? You know what I mean? You got about ten thousand plus. You, you think you you think you gonna be on a Tyler Perry show, which runs on BET? 24 7 over and over and over again it's possible and nobody that five thousand people following the you the other part of the truth is you deserve to be verified correct correct do you, do you no deserve, one deserves do you shit. deserve that because yeah. you are verified you just didn't get you know the followers up just yet it's coming no you being you being hopeful. So you're just gonna say no, and you that's hopeful. it. You're that just gonna leave it at that. It you're just like a parent, just a parent. No, no. And, I, and I don't have to explain it. That shit no. is it's not me being hopeful. I already explained it to you. If you're on those shows, <laughs> you're gonna get the you're gonna get the, the the foes. Yes, you are. That's how that shit works. You are. You should, but maybe you won't. Maybe some people don't. Name some names. It ain't even. It's just a hypothetical though. I don't. It's, it's just because it's not, it does, like, no, it's not a hypothetical yes. that works. I can give you one. Who? The guy who was on the wire. Uh, who? He's not verified? Uh, no, he's or not he didn't verified. Have a lot of he only followers. got 10,000 followers. Okay. And that's for okay. real, for real. It right. happens. It to happens. Point to where he follows me back. Thank oh, you, Lab. Thank saying. you, Lab. Well, oh, shit, I ain't Thank doing nothing. I'm right. following you, No, he's doing, he, might, he be doing, he doing stuff, but I followed him, liked a bunch of stuff, and he followed me back. He ain't like nothing, but he followed me back. Right. Well, there you go. Like somebody yeah, like Jim happens. Jones, I follow him and like all his shit. He don't say shit. Yeah, I like Jim Jones shit too. He don't follow no more. But he got three. Normally they followers. don't. Right. Normally they don't return right. the favor and return engagement. Right. But I guess sometimes they do. So okay, that's that's one. He get that's a one out of a bunch. Of <laughs> Thank you, Lab. But you didn't have it. That's what I'm saying. Well, like, I didn't need it. I didn't need an example. I told yeah, I you did. what the truth was. Okay. If I said this shit to you and you been on the phone, you like give me an example. Tell me. Now you don't want no example. You know, a lot of times when we arguing, I'm I'm right. Be, it, so you no, you no, just you no. usually give up. You should just gave up right there too. No. But it's okay. No, no you <laughs> argue for say argue. Now can so, we talk about the Sheffield Monique Cedric? Shit? He says you can have six hundred thousand followers, have a blue check, and still be whack. Well, facts. Well, I mean all facts, no cap. Facts, Mr. Sheffield. That's Call true. in six seven eight. That's true. Seven four zero nine eight nine four six seven eight seven four zero nine eight nine four. Go Would six you? seven eight seven four zero nine eight nine four. She makes a jingle. Two hundred three hundred dollars or more. <laughs> you know that commercial? You know what I'm talking about? No. Call cash net. You a little short on cash, and you paid it two weeks away. You know what I'm talking about? You know somebody used that shit. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. That. 
<laughs> Yo, leave a comment if y'all remember that. I know y'all remember that commercial. Yes, he's <laughs> motherfuckers like, oh no, she not gonna sing no jingle on my shit. <laughs> Real talk, yo. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I'm yeah. from the era when it, when everything had a good jingle to it. You know we mean? all for whatever. Yeah. yeah, that jingle shit is dead though. What is not dead? Niggas don't make jingles no more. You crazy as hell. Every damn uh, Fifty Cent show no. got a jingle in front that's of a, it. That's that's a damn theme show song. Intro was the shit. That okay? theme song. That's yeah. a jingle was Popeyes. Love that jingle for Popeye. That's the jingle. And there's plenty of them too. That's like, the last one. The jingle, how jingle? That's that was the last, the last of, that's one. That's the last of a dying You know why? Because that was racist as hell. That right. jingle was so damn Name racist. Name another jingle. You know, you don't know no new jingles. There's no none of that. There's they don't no need no none. new jingles out here. You don't that's need crazy. none. That's a travesty, yo. That's it. That, no that. new jingles. I don't even see. I don't remember seeing the black lady in a minute. They, nah, have, they took her ass off. Of, uh, it's been a couple of jingles. Name it. <laughs> you get my That's what I'm saying. Huh? Name a jingle. There ain't no no jingles. I don't know. Popeyes is it. Nigga, stop working. Popeyes is terrible. You don't have to do shit as long as you got influences, nigga. Bite into the sandwich. Oh, no, 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 and yeah, saying, um, right? what you call it? The 411, 1 800 411 pain, that one. Oh, that's the 411 pain I mean, ain't new. I mean, it's not new, but they keep it going every year, right? Yeah. Don't they? You have they no choice. Much, Niggas get hit every year. I mean, they, they it works for them, it works for their marketing. Yeah. Right? But that's been out for 10 years plus. Just Whatever. like, uh, what, you, what you call it, the Ken Nugent, all the niggas, all the shit. Oh, yeah, 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 Ken Nugent, one call, and that's all, is that that yeah. nigga right there? Yeah, yeah. all them shit. One call, that's all. Yeah, that's I mean, thing. jingle shouldn't be dead, because you got to admit, this shit is catchy, you know what I'm saying? It is, so but it is most catchy. of you niggas don't even fucking listen to the radio. They don't, if this shit ain't on social media, they don't even know about it. And that's true. Who the hell so still listen to the radio, really? I don't. I don't either. So, so again, I won't get to the Monique shit. Okay, that's fine. Let's what get to th- it. What did you think about it? I thought she was cussing every other word. Man. I thought that her cussing was like extraneous. And oh, look at her using big vocabulary words. She wasn't my dad. She you know that what? Shit today. You she know that shit what? today. I'm using it in the sentence all week. <laughs> <laughs> extraneous. Okay. <laughs> I was, used it as five more times this week. It was. But honestly, it was a good stand up special. Like, what did you think about it? I thought it was good. I thought it was like, you, you know, true to her, true to her. Her actual story. Uh, like I said, I couldn't get past all the cussing. She cussed a lot. So it was hard to even get to the punchlines or the, or the jokes because she really wasn't telling jokes every per two to se. three was words she? was no. She was telling stories. She was telling her. stories that was funny. She peppered it up, but it wasn't necessarily jokes like with the uh, ill punchlines or none of that. It was yeah. good though. I thought it was good. Shit. Like in comparison to some more special. No, some more. Who do you think was better. killed it? Some more. Okay. And and uh, but who do you think about to get more traction? Keep it real now. Some more, more traction. People are sort of looking at Monique for the, just because you want to say, "Bitch, you made all this noise. This shit better be good." Uh, you, you made all this noise. It, right. You better... And you saw that the shade room picked it up, and different little like Hollywood Unlock picked it up. They picked clips up. So right, but that's a good thing because that brings your little special to even more eyes, and it makes it even more popular. Because of the shit, she correct. Talked about. Because the little little snippet soundbite she talked about. Oh, so let's talk about the little cheap thing that she did. She tried to use the LGBT plus community. Or right, I don't know. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. And she was. Oh, she. It took her so long to finally let her husband know oh, yeah, that so she, she wanted some cutie. Okay, but she was. She did a cop out because she was like she would let the girl do her, but she would not return a favor. Like, girl, if you don't that get out of here, out? that was a super cop out. I think a lot of females be on that shit. I let a girl eat me out, but I'm not returning the favor. I mean, and that's when you know whether or not you actually LGBTQ or just a little bit curious. They, they just be testing it. That's the difference. When that coochie's in your face, you, that's, listen, <laughs> separates the weak from the obsolete, okay? Either you're about that life or you're not about that life. Facts. You know what I'm talking about? I'm about that. Coochie Some is not about that life. Speaking speak from experience? Okay. Right. I am. I do speak from experience. So for me, I'm, I'm, I'm going there. I'm going there. When it's in your sure. face, you, you commit. Yeah, I commit. Yes. I can make, I'm definitely gonna return that favor, as long as everything's on the up and up. Yeah, you know. I'm about to say, cause it, yeah. it ain't right. So if it ain't right, <laughs> good night. She talked about that <laughs> shit too. That shit was that shit yes. was funny. Yes, if but it ain't right, bitch, good night. When she talked about her coochie. No <laughs> thing. Her husband tried to eat it. She's like, he's like, nah, just hit that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that shit now that was kind of crazy, cause she talked about her her coochie being stinking. I was like, what? She's like, ooh. What was that on that was Netflix Monique stand up. So you didn't watch it. You need to check it out. Did you see some more? So you like some more? Yeah. I thought some more was funny. 
you, you, you're not gonna. Mon, you know what Monique is gonna, I feel like she's gonna be more popular. Why? Because she's going to tug at your heartstrings. She was hitting you on all the emotional levels. She was crying on stage. I mean, come on, like she so cried. So did fucking uh, Gerard Carmichael, but I mean, what's was the hell B shit. I mean, uh, we don't Gerard want Carmichael. you. Carmichael, I'm just telling you, uh, as far as popularity, she's about to. Comedy. She's about to go up. She's about to go up you even think more. So? Mm-hmm. That's my word. You think she's going to be, like, what, more Netflix special? That's what you're trying to say? I, I doubt it. I don't oh, know if okay. she's going to do another Netflix special. Like, I don't know what you all think. But as far as I'm concerned, she's about to go up as far as popularity. Okay. Like, even worse. She, I'm going to ask these some a few of these questions to you. Okay. Oh, Cliff. Chef. All right. We not, didn't know not, that. Not the government. Uh, my mom called. African Pinna girl. Uh, what's her name? Uh, <coughs> Michelle <Ani>. O'Ani. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle O'Ani. <laughs> Ani like Winfrey. Ani Winfrey. <laughs> but we didn't know she was coming today, so I have prepared to interview you as we discussed earlier for two seconds. Uh, oh, y'all, everybody be saying, Cliff, you're, Cliff, you're not my friend. You don't call me or nothing. He don't even check on me or nothing no more. He used to check on me before oh, I worked at God. Amazon. Yeah, I, I checked on you what? after I, Amazon. I, I told, I told, I told, like yeah, I was like, you know, yes, your friend. I said, no, that ain't my motherfucking friend. I used to check friend? on you. Yeah, like I never checked on you outside of Amazon. On. On. Don't do me that. I'm trying to tug on my heartstrings. I ain't got a couple. I'm trying to go up. He done had a couple of Texas, bro. Are you We're good? We're checking bitch. We are yeah. associates. Oh, we don't, damn. Uh, we don't went eating wings together and all that shit. Y'all ain't doing me dirty. Nah, nah, nah. You haven't okay. bonded. That was like four years, years ago. No, it wasn't four years ago. Okay. <laughs> okay. So how long, have you been, how long have you been doing comedy? Six and a half years. Okay. How long do you think you will continue to do comedy, and is there an expiration date? Comedy's one of those things that has that no expiration date. No expiration date. And I'll do it as long as I... The funnies in me, and that's just damn near all the time, every time. So you plan on dropping dead on stage? <laughs> Shit, yeah. Oh, so you here, you can answer the question too. Oh, I'm I'm never gonna stop. As never far gonna as I'm stop. Concerned. It's forever. It's forever. For me. Ride or die. I that's mean, right. all the all the all the greats did the shit to like they was eighty. Fuck, the Rodney Dangerfields of the world, yeah. the the Red Foxes, I and mean, niggas did it till they was high up in the age. So mm, okay. it's one of those things that I think. You probably get better at time because your material be getting more experience, more seasoned. More. Yeah, and I won't stop until I consider myself to be a master. E- you know, even at that point. Okay. So. Okay. Good answer. Good answer. Do you think comedy is on a downturn because because everyone is so sensitive and thinks their opinion counts? Downturn. Okay. Downturn. No, I think you would definitely have to be more more clever and witty about your delivery. So you can't just say anything no more. You can't right? just nah. you just can't get anything off your chest, which which puts it at a point where people's point of view is isn't at full tilt. So I got what I would normally say at a hundred percent. Now I got to pull back to seventy because I got to figure out what angle I got to come at, who's gonna be offended if I'm gonna get canceled, and it takes the mm-hmm. it takes the greatness out of it because comedy's one of those things that make people feel uncomfortable. Talks about the the things that. Most people want to talk about, discuss, but put in a point of view that's that's funny. That you like, I can't believe I'm laughing at this shit, but this shit's funny. You know what I'm saying? So, so you just can't flow. The flow is messed up because you gotta think about it before you, gotta, you say you it. You definitely gotta think about it. So I'm like, when Richard Pryor them to come to the top of their head, they he, just say it. Yeah, he wouldn't. Y'all do can't it. do that no more. Bernie couldn't do that. You gotta be careful. Patrice what you O'Neil's say. a lot of the people that Red Foxes, those guys like that, mm-hmm. it would be hard for them to to do. Mm-hmm. Um, today's comedy would have to be super and that in my opinion that's one of the reasons why and and i, I had one just argue with another comedian why eddie murphy i don't think is rushing back mm-hmm. you don't think so mm-hmm. why first of all he has the money he has he has stature he has doing a comedy wouldn't be would be more for the fans would you him. be surprised if he did stand if he up? did if he did i would be super like if he did a netflix special i wouldn't be surprised i wouldn't be surprised I either because be. he know how to go get a check he know how to get to a bag he don't have to he said he he's gonna do. To, he said he's gonna do it just before COVID, and then COVID came. But right. at this point, Eddie Murphy, you want to see him raw, Eddie Murphy. You don't want to. I mean, see he may give you a family special. He may censored. give you a family friendly special, which nah. would, would be in line with his brand today. His, it would his brand is whatever. His family is, is nothing about his brand. How family is it funny. not? His last his, his last, last twenty Netflix, movies was Netflix was Dolomite. He just did. He that just, was the one thing he did, which I think he wrote himself. He did, that was the one people, thing he did that he did wasn't tons family. Of shit. A lot of things he did over the past ten years has been well, like you, family. You told you going off his Shrek. No, no. he did. What he else did he do? Nash. He dropped 
Pluto um, Nash. Dave, he dropped. Who the fuck remembers Pluto all Nash? The, all the, <laughs> like the past 20 years, you could say he's been in the vein of family-friendly movies. Like, so you don't think he'll go back to Raw? You don't think he'll go back I to I don't think he Larry's. would. I can see him dropping a family-friendly special. Okay. I need Eddie to be I need him to be, I need him to be Raw. Yeah. I mean, the, I that's like him going actually. back in time yes. 30 some years. I need him to be. So. Now that's, that was he, that yeah. was ill. Delirious Raw was Uncut. ill, but I don't I, see him going back to that. Why not? I mean, he's evolved past that. And okay. I say you can you can give an evolved point of view. And These not are opinions. Be, I'm just saying you give a point of view. My opinion. Here she go. You yeah. Your guard up. Okay. Well, moving on to the next question, yeah. and then we're gonna let you get to your, uh -huh. your sheet of paper. Um, <laughs> not your sheet of paper. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you think that having a social media helps or hinders comedians? Does it the social media make people who may think they're funny think they can do comedy? Hell yeah. Think they can do stand up rather. Hell yeah. They confuse skits and and the the viewership and the likes and as something that could pan over yes. to doing punchlines and set up and crowd control and it doesn't. I've seen a lot of those well known people who do a lot of those uh skits and stuff get on stage at Uptown and all the places and you'd be like yeah, I want my money back. Mm. Okay, yeah. I, that's my next question. Yeah. Have you ever been to a comedy show where you pay for it? Now, you know you asked the question, what would you pay your last dollar uh, yeah. to see? Have you ever been to a comedy show where you pay for it and was in there like, this uh, shit sucks? 90% of niggas that do online shit I want to pay for. No, nah, no. Nah. This he is said, somebody you pay for. Like you CJ said, I'm doesn't going to pay to do this. shit, though, lad. But as that's a what you asked the first wrong all, person. First of all, don't do that. <laughs> but... <laughs> But as a comedian, you say I'm a comedian. You get on there, you don't have to. But um, the last yeah. person, you don't have to say no names. Um, I'm trying to think. You might have to work with that person. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm yeah, not gonna exactly. say. I'm not gonna say no names. But yeah, they are people. It's a it's a handful of people that I've seen. I'm like, yeah. Man, Slick went to Cat uh, Williams show one time. He was like, this shit sucks. Oh. Allegedly. Yeah. We Allegedly. want all our eight hundred dollars back. No Cat Williams were hurt in the production of this show. This is not. This is not no. Uh, allegedly, we was there with our own eyes. And that shit sucked. He said it sucked. Um. Ryan Davis is one of my favorite comedians. Um, like up and coming comedians. He's he does a lot of online stuff. A lot of um commentary commentary stuff. When he normally comes in, he brings. A lot of those social media comedians with them. Mm -hmm. They suck. Yeah. Sometimes. Alleged. Half of them do. Right. Some so of he'll them. bring up like six of them. And half four of them. Suck. Yeah. Four, three or four of them. Like, okay. Uh, All right. Last them. question. Then, well, maybe I'll ask one more later on. But last question. Um, fuck the woman of your dream. Fuck the woman of your dreams or get $10,000. See, everybody say a billion dollars, but that's the easy question. Shit. But ten thousand dollars, you know. Nah, the woman of my dreams. Cause I already know who the woman of my dreams is. <laughs> That's the easy question. See, people be like, you don't fuck the woman of your dreams to get two billion dollars. Uh, two billion dollars, but ten thousand dollars, you gotta think about that shit. Like, mm, you know, ten thousand dollars can pay, pay a couple of bills. One of my dreams can make a couple of dreams come true. I mean, exactly. Nah, cause these two women I'm thinking in my head. But the woman of your dreams is worth definitely it. worth more than that. Rihanna and Nia Long. <laughs> yeah. But you don't get them both at the same fucking time. I'm just saying, at the same time, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, either or. I'm just saying, either or. Just throw them up, and whatever comes down, I'm good with it. So what, Toss it up. So whatever comes down, heads or tails. Yeah. <laughs> right. if, if it's Nia, Nia uh, tails and uh, uh, heads for Rihanna, I had that, I absolutely. I had that question at a million dollars, but I figured mm. you probably say a million dollars. Yeah, most people would say, so you're trying to make it a little bit more. You got to think about this. Yeah. 10,000? Nah, I got to get I'm going to take the money. So as a, so as a father of, <laughs> of girls, you going to take the money? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the money, too. Ten thousand could pay a couple of bills. Yeah. You only fucking that hole one time. Get I get ten thousand, take four thousand, fuck four four, 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 four holes. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> your dreams, the then I can buy four holes that kind of look like me along in them. Like I can just. <laughs> <Not Shit. high. laughs> That's a hard. It's a bunch of Instagram models. You know, you never know. That, that they get close. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm a thousand there, right? Right. How come I let hey, your boy? You'd be surprised what motherfucker do for a thousand dollars. You right? Uh huh. So moving on. Do something yeah. strange for a little piece. Do you of find that being a father of girls makes you um makes you um do comedy? A little bit less than what you know, like make you say things or think about before you say it because you do have girls like calling women out their name or saying certain things yes. that may be sexual that you would not say because you are a father of girls. Yeah, and and they moms. Are they me. allowed to twerk? Fuck no, but okay. they moms is calling me out on some of that stuff, and I'd be like, I didn't think about it like that. Right. But 
you know, my daughter's a fan of my stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I started thinking about it when I was doing, like, I, you know, the stuff I do when I put videos up, reels mm -hmm. up, and she'd be like, Dad, you know, my, my, the kids at my, at my um, school love your stuff, and my coaches follow you and all that stuff, and they, they think it's hilarious. And I'm like, damn, niggas at your school was looking at you, because the shit I was talking about was the, the dick riding. Right. Jack. And I was like, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I don't know if I want you to really <laughs> support that video, but right, you know, moving on. That's enough. My quest for a thing. I had a bunch more, but you, yeah. you know, your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, those are good questions, though. Right? Good questions. Definitely. I have a, I have a question that um, speaking of one of the comics that that's that's online, mm -hmm. Kev on stage did a did a uh, like a debate on his IG stories. Who's the more talented comedian entertainer? Eddie Murphy or Jamie Foxx? Oh, wow. You, know why? you said the more talented? Overall entertainer slash comedian. Ooh, that's, Overall that's entertainer. That's a rough one. Entertainer oh, yeah, Because, I mean, Jamie is... That's what he said. He's that's what very was. talented. But so. as far as funny? Yeah. Now, we talking about just funny? They said Eddie overall Murphy. entertainer yeah. comedian. I, I overall... See, he why did, he got to put the overall? Why he can't he did it for the comedy category? No, nah, he right? said overall entertainer. He said for that one, it was Jamie Foxx 81 to Eddie Murphy's 19. Yeah, because Eddie Murphy's not an overall entertainer. He don't sing. He, well, he does. does. He got he that does song. Have party all the time. He right. sang, but it wasn't that great. It I wasn't mean, great. As yeah. That. And then, then Jamie can, can play instruments. So. Exactly. He can and act. He they, both act. They, both act. They, both they both act. They both act. But he does action. They yeah. both do impressions. They both do. He Eddie Murphy did action. He did Beverly Hills Cop and all kinds of stuff like that. So that's what I'm saying. I think Jamie gets it more because he's a musician. Yeah, if you're talking about variety show type, then you got to give it to Jamie. But come on. You got to give it to Jamie. If you just think about it, those are two talented. Brothers. Oh, yeah. super talented! You kidding me? But I don't think Jamie is as funny as Eddie if you just sit down talking to him. Like yes, Eddie everybody will does make say laugh Eddie. just in the conversation. conversation absolutely. I think Jamie will too, and he got he got impressions too. I mean, but they say Eddie. Most people say Eddie tells like some of the best stories. You know, right. what I'm sure. Eddie, but Eddie tell Eddie doesn't try to tell jokes. Right. He's just talking, which makes oh, yeah. it extra funny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they both but naturally Jamie's funny. Jamie's known for the most elaborate parties and a lot of stories come out of his shit. Okay. So, you know, he, they both have they. I don't uh, know what happened to Jamie. He kind of fell off a little bit. He's a producer uh, now. I mean, what is he producing? He has a TV show on television called The Accused that he produces. Okay. He produces a couple. He had How that, is that he had show? Because the last show. show he had, remember with his daughter? It yeah, was like a comedy it show. It was a Shazam? I thought it was Shazam. No, no, no. It was like a situation comedy, and he, I think he was producing it then. He was the dad. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That and shit it was like last. Netflix they, or something. They canceled the fuck out It was canceled, so it wasn't funny. Mm -mm. And then you saying he got a new <coughs> Damn, show out now. Like so I had to check it out. Is it's it on? Show. What is it on? Action. He's not in it. Oh, he's not even he's in it. Gotcha. Jamie Foxx is one of the people that you see him do just about anything. Like I mean, he can do just about anything. Like, going back to Living Color, that boy is super, super funny. I think they super said the next thing he's trying to do is prepare for the Mike Tyson role. Oh. To bring it to the major screen. Now, he's going to do that justice. That's what, so, I, would, that's what I would think. There's nothing it's nothing I'd see him doing. I'm like, yeah, he can't pull that off. Did you see the new Avatar? I did. did I watched that. Avatar? That shit was long. Jesus they finally Christ. dropped it after all these years. Did you like the first one? Uh, I did. I waited on that second that one to drop. Long. But it was long. Um, I watched it. I watched it with my kids. Really? I've been waiting for years for it to drop. Years, literally. Nah. You saw it? Three hours and thirty minutes. You thought it was good? Did your kids watch it with you? They did. You like it? I liked it. They liked it too. I'm surprised they understood it. But they they was into it. Was it. Good. They was crying and shit. I was like, y'all know what's going really? on. Really? It was it was tearing up. So yeah, uh -huh. it was it was it was good. It's long. Like it's one of those type of movies. If you step away. You gonna get lost because it's so. You better push pause. Dialogue heavy, <laughs> but I have to. I mean, it's six. Mean? It's Step six. Away. I need action in my movie. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I can watch it. I have to be in the middle of the day. If it's at night. You gonna go to sleep? And it's dialogue heavy. You fall asleep. You're not gonna go out. Don't go see that in the movie. I'm terrible to watch a movie with two. I'll probably nine out of time, nine, ten, nine out of ten times, I'm going to sleep. I'm, I'm gonna fall asleep. Like I'm yes. Going there, Especially if we ate beforehand. I'll be waking up like this. Good night. Yeah, me too. <laughs> They be mad at you though, lad. Like, right. wake up, yeah. watch the movie. Like, like God damn, good night. It's just still on you. Wake up the movie. Like, this motherfucker's still on. I know. Long. Like, I hate watching movies with you. You always fall asleep. Yeah, well. Watch a movie. I'll be in her room watching the movie, and I fall asleep and shit. And then she falls asleep, and then she be whining. I'm like, damn, then I fall asleep on this part. Right. <laughs> right. 
That's how you know it's not that great either. But then you might want to, re- like you said, rewatch it the next day in the afternoon or in the morning or something when you up. And that shit still don't be that great. You fall asleep right it back might, at yeah, that you're part. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I think the last time I fell asleep with some shit was Malcolm X when I went to go see Oh, hell shit. no. In eighth grade. That shit was three hours and 15 minutes. Now, that was a great Malcolm movie. Was in eighth grade? About eighth grade or something. It's about eighth grade. How old are you? 23. That's now, nigga? 43. What you said now? Wait, like, like, damn, like, like, I was, like he I was 10 years old and shit. Five years ago. I said 23, I'm like, what the fuck? No, no. <laughs> he said yeah. now, nigga. Yeah, I remember I was in middle school and Not I had to write a paper about ago. it. And we went there as a class. I'm like, yeah. this shit long. middle school, you went to see Malcolm X? Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. Your, your middle school must have been militant. They was woke. It was a Catholic school. They took y'all to see the shit? No the more. teacher was. Allowed for the yes, we can. I'm going to tell you what bothers white me about that. Yes, white work. folks has hijacked woke. woke. However, in my mind, woke just is a synonym for consciousness. And that's, that's we, why we're going to switch to consciousness. Hello, and we was the ones who originated that yeah, in the consciousness. first place. So I wouldn't even allow them to steal the word. They can't <coughs> even have it. it. They can't have it. Every time we're Too late. Gets in front of they the can't body, have it. They say woke. Now, you saw that video where the girl was like, so go ahead, let's see if we're on the same page. What does woke mean to you? Mm-hmm. And the white lady was like, um, it's just like, you know, when you, um. It means nigga. Y'all don't even, right. It, mean, <laughs> right, it means Smart nigga. nigga. He knows right. about shit. No, it don't but mean it's, smart, it just means nigga. It's right. conscious, yeah. is what it is. When they say woke, they What like, it is, hope. We gonna get away from this woke shit, but in the back of England, when all this nigga shit. Right. <laughs> yeah. They yeah, have, they, they, they hijack the, 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 the hell, hell out of that. They hijack every fucking thing. They're but allies. that's definitely one of them. They're allies. Oh, yeah, that's their, absolutely. That's their, that's their adjectives now. We're, huh. we're allied to your to your cause. What about the trans dogs in the I'm sorry, what's on your list? Let's trans talk about that. Trans dog. What the fuck? Yeah, you ain't see how the man wanted to be a wolf or a dog, so he paid two hundred thousand. He identifies as a dog. He paid two hundred thousand for the suit and now he lives his life as a dog. Oh, yeah. It's only sorry. right. Did you see the body suit that women get put on? Right. See that? What? Oh, men can put the, it on the, too. The BBL joint. Yeah, nah, it's a whole suit though. Like, and yeah. men are wearing it more because it's the drag queens that wear that. It's the drag queens that came up with that. Not a, not regular. I just like the fact they had the little cutout part for the cooch. I'm like, that's perfect. Of course you. That's the only thing. That's it. That's perfect. It's still plastic. What the fuck? Like, it's super plastic. You know, it's latex. Smell like rubber. Smell like, like straight rubber. balloons right. in the room. Just balloons. How many like, complexions can we have? The circus. So what we have, baby? One complexion. Yeah, I could. I couldn't even. It's not cool. Man. It's that not ain't cool. It. That ain't it. See, you can't pretend but so much. By the time you get home and the clothes come off, the truth is there. Yeah, I be catfishing it's, the it's, fuck out hello. of us. Hello. I just want to say that. We looking at each other. The yeah. hell. I catfish the fuck out of us. And then want a real nigga. Listen, I'm, if I'm not interested, when you take them clothes off, I'm leaving. I don't give a damn. I don't care what we discussed, what we agreed upon. Nigga, you lied. I'm gone. That's fucked I'm up. leaving. Let a nigga open up his shirt and the whole gut just... Drop out. Yeah, they got the, the little shit for dudes. I know. The little packs. Pack. Move that gun around, girl. <laughs> <laughs> no. Move my fupa. <laughs> move my fupa around. I move your fupa out the way. Gun drop out his dick rolls to his Nah, ankle. fupa is one thing. Giant gut is another. <laughs> you mean with the giant gut? No, I'm not. Y'all can't even ride that right. My legs is too short. I'm, I'm over here. It's, I'm just, it's like right. being on top of a yoga ball. You just you, you can't. Go. Yeah. I can't do that. It got to be a little bit smaller than this. I put my legs around and straddle you. You I'm only 5'2". Sh- if I can't straddle you, you're too big. I'm sure your big niggas can work around. The biggie was doing it forever. <sighs> she said that shit now. All right. Right, nigga get a hold of right, big nigga. I had a big nigga one time. I'm like, yeah. I yeah. you ain't like big nigga. I said, once you go well, fat, you never him. go back. Something about him. Something about him. Something oh, yeah. about him. His dick game was good. Fat nigga with a good dick game. See? Mm-hmm. And I ain't know it was like that either. I said, damn. <laughs> And then he was sweating on Damn. you. Damn. Mm-hmm. The, the sweat <laughs> was just, the sweat, the sweat was an aphrodisiac. I mean, who knew? But I was like, damn. I feel like it's sweat. raining in here. It's just like drizzling in the room. Hell uh, yeah. You have to. Yeah, that shit just dripped down that in my face. I said, okay, I'm all right with this. You know, it's raining in here, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. I ain't know I was ready for the rain, but then I was ready. You know what I mean? I saw a man say, yes. a fat nigga on top of you, and he getting in his titty just fall your mouth. <laughs> I'm definitely sucking it. I'm sucking definitely titty. sucking it. Hell yeah. Titty. I'm licking and sucking that thing. And you hear me? He said it's saucy. Like saucy. <laughs> not even a good saucy. Not even a, 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 a. I guess they got to be on the charcuterie then. Put that thing yeah. on the charcuterie. Nipple, Make it a part of the. Uh, on the charcuterie yeah, board. let's do it. 
Looking like an olive. Looking like a, uh, a Greek olive and shit. Hell yeah, bring and it on. That nigga moan. Bring uh, the bears. They call them bears now. That's I like my spot, that. huh? That's what they call bears? Yeah, a bear. Ain't that a shit. Niggas get mm. nicknames. Okay, Yeah, they're nice and cuddly. Absolutely. They keep you warm. Yeah. Until they shit ain't big, then they, yeah. then you like get yeah. the fuck out of here. Yeah, you can't be big and everywhere else, and then anyway, what's on your paper? <laughs> All right, we got um. Big is suggestive. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Somebody think he's huge, and you might think he's small. It all depends on the person. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. A BBW. Uh, you, you BBWs. <laughs> um. A wine cork was removed from a teen's vagina after more than three years. The 19-year-old <laughs> attempted to remove the cork initially, but eventually left it in place due to shame and fear of being judged. The woman finally had it medically had medical attention um, four years later when she could lost control of her bladder. Yo. So she had that thing up. coochie. She was for years. To, she was How many years? Three years. Three years. Over three years, she was masturbating with the, with the wine cork or the bottle or whatever. Poor and baby. And shit just stayed up there. Coochie probably stink like Chardonnay and fucking sewer water. It's just nasty. I blame <laughs> the parents. You should have you should have taught her what the proper things to masturbate with water. was. Hell yeah. Not no fucking cork. Get a dildo. Exactly. You know how brittle corks are? You know how silly she had to be to stick something that was an inch long of her vagina and think it was supposed I mean, to be she like. Needs. She just needs that little inch, that little yeah. extra inch. She so that means, so she never did anything in them years. She never had sex or anything else within niggas, that time. If she was, the niggas was lodging it deeper. Yeah. That thing would have been in her uterus already. They was thought It would have already been in the service. They thought, they thought that <laughs> shit was, <laughs> was like, that's a new ring? <laughs> that's a new ring. Touching the back wall. Right. Touching the back wall. Hell yeah. And she know it's the cork the whole time. That was a trick. That was a trick. Shot of, you be, That's crazy. You be shattering. You got to break that shit. That's what I'm saying. It was being fermented. Her juices, everything. Fermentation. Ooh. Yeah, not a good thing. Good, you know about that, huh? uh, No, ain't no, nobody with no <laughs> Coke bottle. That's I a mean, hell that's of a every DJ, though. That's better than a butt plug, I guess. I guess. You went to butt plugs? No, I have said I went better for... Huh? I didn't Is know that it. a thing? I did. No, well, no, they I've do had, hide I've them. where they, like... Somebody hide them in the ass, right? We were finna do it, and they had a butt plug in. No. Oh. And then they took it out. That's pregame action, huh? Yeah, I knew somebody who's, you know, like, huh. surprise, nigga. You do doggy huh. style, and they like the beats, the anal beats, and they like, shit put it in and out like a chainsaw. <laughs> oh, but it was already in there when you started. No, they like it. Why you hitting? Oh, it from why the back. you hitting it? Oh, uh, in and out, like a I chainsaw. See. Yeah. Not like I, a chainsaw. I, I, I'm sorry, Literally. I've had somebody say that. They, while I was eating that cookie, she was like, put the booze in uh-huh. there. Did, did you feel like that was a lot of work? I mean, cause nah. it was it was enough. It was good. I don't mind multitasking. A lot of work, hell. No. <laughs> <laughs> you had the energy. You you was able to you know what I mean over here with it, do mm-hmm. this. Shit that that motherfucker did afterward. It was it's worth it. <laughs> right. Ah, I'm gonna have to try that. I've never really been into all of that yet. Like none of the plugs and all that. But I'm gonna try that. You never know. It's on a bucket list, then. Anal beads. Yeah. Yeah, anal beads. I mean, I've heard of it. Never. I was curious. Mm-mm. Not until right now. Okay, well. Now I'm a little curious now. Okay, well, add that to your list. Yeah, I'm getting ready to buy right some there. toys. Right. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep one what time, happened? she was telling me a story. She's like, she's like, friend, I'm telling you. She said she had a guy. You, you got to tell me. She said she had a guy that told her and her boyfriend that the, her boyfriend can fuck her from the back and he'll eat her coochie at the same time. And, and while she's sitting on it, I'm thinking to myself, the boyfriend's dick is gonna go in his mouth, like the guy. Right. Is, yeah. How is that even possible? And she was. They do, they do this shit for me. But my friend is such a fucking savage. She said, "I ain't giving a fuck." All I kept seeing was that happening. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "I kept trying to make that happen." <laughs> no, the first that's time, though. <laughs> okay. So you can eat it that way, like but you like said, his, but if it fall like, out, it's gonna bust right, a nigga right in the lip. Out, it's gonna go right in his mouth. Yep. Mm. Well, some niggas like that. Well, her boyfriend wasn't with it. He's like, that's, <laughs> right, that's, that's, too close to that's hell again. That's hell again. She was like, I ain't give a fuck. She was down with it. She was that's, down with it. Yeah. And it happened? No. Oh. But you got to hear her tell that story. That shit is so funny. Her Talking about it happened? Like, that shit's got to happen, Lee. I'm telling you. I'm like, no. Shit got to happen. <laughs> I got to orchestrate that shit. Right. That's exactly what <laughs> I got to make that shit happen. <laughs> uh, let's see. She said she 
said it's all about her. I mean, it really is. At that point, it's, it's extra stimulated. But like you said, yeah, yeah. yeah. But at that point, again, if it falls out, it has time to do. Bow. It's right in your chin. Fucking story, like she's a savage. Yeah, Ricky, yeah, we gotta hear that story. It's all about me. I know that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did you hear about the barber who faked he was a police officer to work at the? Yeah, I heard about Meg that. The Stalin concert. To get in the mix, um, he did. It worked for a while, right? And then he nigga had a canine vest with no dog. Did he really? Yes. <laughs> I just like, got caught like, so where your dog at? Oh, he around here somewhere. But look at Meg though, ain't that ass crazy? Huh? That white was slamming. that white was slamming. Oh I I faked that shit too. But I'm a, like, she all natural. I ain't gonna knock that Meg. That white was like, she oh she's my always God. that motherfucker is. Yeah. She's blessed. She she's blessed too. in the fields. Yeah. Yeah. She's down. She definitely stayed. <laughs> she earned. Yeah, she's a stallion. Every day. <laughs> she earned every bit of that name. She definitely did. Uh, so I got it. And then the little baseball player got his little feel on. Yeah. That was sexy as hell. She, how she looked at the game, too. She looked really sexy Man. at the game. White pants had to go up. She was like killing it. 30% in, in stores. You stupid. <laughs> and you know how many women wanted to, you know, buy them but didn't look nowhere near? Man, listen. Yeah, please. So please. I ain't never been a fan like that, but... Yeah, I, I don't want to listen to music, but... And you probably thing. still ain't, but you just thinking Ooh. she's sexy, which she is. You know what I mean? White dude, she done go on that day? I'll I, mean, I, I bet would, you her I shit went up. to her music just to make her happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she probably don't even like her own shit. <laughs> you don't know, think she like her music I mean, shit? honestly, her music used to be good when she was mixtape made, but now it's like... you oh, know how You know how it is oh, when you shit, get signed really, officially? I know she oh yeah, mistake. and that's when her her basically the message was like women empowerment back then, and yeah. then she as soon as she got her deal it was like Fuck that she shit. went from being a pimp to pimping these like from pimping niggas to being pimp to being a bitch to being a hoe. That's the way how it switched. It sells records. I mean, what you want to do? Obviously, it sell it sell records. You can't be mad at her. Obviously, that's the powers that be that says you can't be empowering to women. What you think about to a you? certain degree? No different what you think about your girl Black China switching up. I don't know, that yeah. shit's corny. I was like, why the fuck is she in the news like this? Is it me? Because she, like, she, she denounced what? OnlyFans after she made like $25, 26000000 million. Right. Off of it. The she funniest shit her, is her mom. Off. Her mom is her like mom is her cool, cool. arch nemesis. Her mom is fucking that shit cool. Like just when Black China is starting to try to get her life together, here come her mom calling her all kind of names and dragging her ass through the mud. Yeah, her mama like, that shit crazy. She like the reason why she ain't telling you why she taking all that shit out of her face because she got health problems. And what the fuck, mom? The mom said the Illuminati is after her ass. I can believe that shit. Illuminati. Allegedly. I can believe that. I mean, do we do we subscribe to Illuminati? Do we think that it's a real thing? I don't put enough to pass nobody. They just killed a nigga from Cash App this morning. The founder of Cash yes. App. Yes. And the Bitcoin, does that mean our transactions are not going to go through My from here on out? The Bitcoin niggas died five months ago. Yeah, you're right. The so, Bitcoin yeah, niggas died, and now do, the Cash App nigga bad. died today, right? Yep. He was stabbed. Don't start no conspiracy shit. I'm not. I'm just saying. He was stabbed Somebody to death. Somebody posted some conspiracy shit. Y'all better look. They, they, they killing off the Cash App guy. Y'all better get ready. Y'all better get some gold and some. Well, Bitcoin. I ain't tell you. I ain't tell you I do nothing that shit. I'm just saying. What was it the situation? Did it have any uh, details about the crime? The like, nigga got stabbed at two thirty in the morning. You, you ever seen this picture? Where was he at? He's like uh -uh. every no, he's in San Francisco. Which when he is got a perfect stabbed? place for a white guy to blend. That's and, like gay gay town. He looks San like Francisco. your most unassuming white boy you ever see. You wouldn't even know he's a CEO of anything. So what they was doing, they robbed that him? That shit personal. He ain't take nothing. They just stabbed him and left him there. Oh, now that's super Stabbing suspicious. Stabbing his health the hell up personal. That's super suspicious. Why would they why would he be out? This is another silly situation, like your boy Journey. What's his name? Ms. Jesse Smollett. Miss Mixon, I said stabbings are usually personal. Yes, it's yes, okay. yes. Cause why would he be out there? So it's somebody, somebody who knew him. <laughs> yeah, somebody exactly. It wasn't no random thing. It wasn't yeah. a random crime at all. That's an up close and personal type deal. Yeah, you want you see the. And then it was multiple times on. that he was stabbed. Multiple times. Mm. Maybe something he coming. <laughs> you stupid. You would think stabbing is kind of an old school way to, life, you know, like, kill somebody. No, it's still, it's still get the job somebody. done. It's messy. It's still get the job done. <laughs> yeah, it gets the job done. I... Yeah, yeah, but they, yeah. They, get, they, get to, they get to feel every, every part of it. I guess. That's why niggas in Like when you really hate a person, yeah. I can see going out like that. You really hate a motherfucker. You stabbed him to death. So, yeah, I mean. Phone check, nigga. That's what you think they did? 
That's crazy though. Nigga, my cash app ain't go through, nigga. Refund. I want a refund. I'm sure they didn't know who he was. Whoever, I'm telling you, they didn't target this nigga. This is suspicious though. It's a suspicious crime. I'm ready to investigate. But not here like she, a white woman investigates. Here she go with her crime stopping ass. Hell no. She I said not like how a white woman investigates. Right. Like, Hell no. no. My my si- blood be like, this blood smells like. Right. Right. I'd be slightly intrigued by it, but my six that's about it. Nah, yeah. His baby daddy did it. Something ain't right. Definitely not random, probably. Yeah. I, I mean, like I said, it's personal. Stabbing is always, always super personal. Probably was hugging. That's a shame. Super personal. And then, huh, 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 phone check. Phone check. Phone mm-hmm. check. Um, you know Shannon Sharp, right? Yeah. He's from uh, TV. He said he went on his <laughs> on his uh, his little podcast he has with um, I forgot who the person he was interviewing, but he said he paid for a woman's divorce because he believed in her so much that he she was gonna be the one that he told her, hey, don't worry about whatever your husband and them is arguing about. Let the nigga have it. That's chump change. I can get you out of there and be free. That's love. You think so? Yeah. He never married the bitch. She's just. He didn't marry her after he's that. He never been married. No, she was the one, but he paid for a divorce and never married her. I guess it ain't so. Work he probably out. tapped that ass one. up and down he, until he was tired of it. He, I mean, he know what it's like. He was a simp for that ass. He definitely hit it. I mean, I would hope so. Several times. I would hope. And I so. mean, whatever the case was, he did not end up paying for the milk. Right? He got all the milk for free. Why I'm not paying for it. He paid for the milk. He paid for the divorce. He paid for the divorce, but then he didn't marry her. They still paying for the milk. Uh, yeah. No, it ain't. She was just, well, I mean, he paid to get part, her free. He freed her ass up so he, he, can, freed her. he could do nasty shit with her. Yeah, so he could jump around and do whatever he with her. To, without Man. being guilty. Purportedly. He's, she should have made She should have made him there. marry her. No, he didn't, but we pretty sure. I would hope. That I'm not paying for your divorce. I'm not fucking. Exactly. Right. Yeah, these niggas is different. This these, is a, these, these niggas now is something different. I need an NDA. Like, hey, these you know, niggas. I'm freeing you from this nigga. Just to be fucking me, you know. What I'm saying? I mean, he decided he here, could have did was marry initial her. here, initial here. And he's never been married. He's never like in his fifties. Never been married. That's what I'm saying. That's why I found him. He's that like, she's the that one. Don't, I should, yeah. I, I probably should have been this player for a while. When I got like caught up, I did this date. So. Would you ever like what? do some shit to free a chick up, and just uh, so you can get I'm with not, him? I'm not paying no chick to be on the board. Like, Look, I, I could have told you he was going to tell you no. No, I was her side nigga or something, and yeah, I was like, hey, Maybe she was like a $1,000 like away from the shit, but would you just like, no. <laughs> that's it. So She'd be like, Lab, Arnie, is $1,000 is over, baby. That $1,000 will go far. Like, if, I'm like, if I'm like, damn, I really want to fuck this motherfucker. Yeah, I'm $1,000 away. She's loyal. And it's, yeah. it, it, it cleared all up. Paperwork gets signed. I give her $1,000, and then she go off with your ass. Like, that's how I feel. I'm like, damn, I really want to fuck this motherfucker. The nigga that she divorced, what are you saying? Do you think she's going to go back over with him? No, I'm saying, I give her a thousand dollars divorce. I'm just saying you, but yeah, right. she and she go with somebody else. Mm-hmm. And she just go with somebody else. After and I that can happen. Or what if she reconciled with the nigga? Reconcile with the husband? I, oh, both the ass got to stop. It's got to yeah. die. And my dick dry. <laughs> so it's, only a, it's only a thousand. <laughs> what? Oh, what? It's only you know what you can do with a thousand dollars? You got it. You got it, lad. You got it, CJ. That's the point of having it. Is I did it for a reason. I did it for a reason. My motivation was there. <laughs> it was to free her up. It was to free her, and then she just gonna go off again. and right. do whatever. She's like, "Thank you, nigga." Yeah. Right. I went to the day Kwan. Did you do? Yeah, because what if she was a calm no. person? What if she was I a calm person? I can't see myself doing that type of shit. You wouldn't do it. Nah, not. I mean, like if Neil Long said, "It's ten thousand dollars," like. Neil yeah, Long should have that shit. I mean, because there's still a chance whether or not you're going to let it, whether or not she letting you hit it or not. It's still a chance. You don't have to. Neil Long in that motherfucker. Yeah. She'd be like, I'm going to give it back to you once my money get out of escrow. Uh, oh, so it's a loan. It's, well, it's, it's locked he up. might it's say yes. It's locked up with a divorce. I can't spend anything. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you know what I'm saying? You ain't but never you gonna going to get your money yeah. back. I'm going to give it back to you, but. Never. It's only a, it's only a thousand. It's Neil Long. It's Neil Long. It's Neil Long. The answer is yes. Right. Yeah. It's Neil Long. The answer is yes, so please don't stunt. Like, it's not. I didn't say it wasn't. Neil Long is always the answer. So you're going to pay for that then? In other words. thousand dollars. Yeah, it's Neil Long. Yeah, like, I mean, shit. <laughs> you pay for less. Better look about for a thousand. Exactly. It's only a thousand dollars. Shit, you get married to a motherfucker and be paying for that. Shit, you heard exactly. boo. Just put your pussy lips on live. I give right. you a thousand dollars. Niggas ain't going to be mad. You made a thousand dollars. You put a thousand dollars up for Neil Long? I sure the fuck did. Yeah. I'll do this shit tomorrow. And she's worth yeah. more than that. So exactly. that was a discount. So, yeah. You'd be in your ass snatching TVs out the wall. Uh, yeah, what are you doing? Neil Long needs a TV. Need, whatever she needs. Whatever she, she got. needs. <laughs> She, she told me to take all the pictures down to my family. Neil Long ain't it for me. She all right, though. She Who's it for you? 
who's who's oh, that? Yeah, the dream, the dream woman. Eric Badu. Cause that bitch is artsy as hell, and I know she's freaky. And super, super intelligent. She turned her ass out. Yeah, I want, I want to be turned out. I, 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 yeah, she'll make right. you put the phone down. Right. Yeah, she'll yeah, make you put the phone make, down. You're right, Erica Badu. She's like, let me put my phone face up and shit. And record it. shit going on. I love Erica. Erica. Like, Erica, like, I, I, you can see how artsy she is, how mm-hmm. she dresses and acts. You can be like, damn, that motherfucker's far as beautiful. Yeah. Shit. You know she is. She's a sorceress. Behind closed doors, she I imagine what kind under of a shit. Spell. You probably, you probably, yeah. you probably learn Ooh. different languages for that motherfucker. Hell yeah. Like, I bet that shit's immaculate. Like, you bet the shit is immaculate. That shit is immaculate. I probably I use that shit. Common went you crazy probably, and so did I. You pull that pants off and that light come on. Oh, the price was like water and shit, like. This yeah. motherfucker smell like a water. Tastes like, like tastes like cranberries. Fresh spring rain. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, this is what they meant when they this said summer rain. Right. This motherfucker right. smell like a fresh spring rain. Like, oh my god. Oh, I guarantee you. Right. Nah, that prototype was, was uh, talk about hundred three thousand. Talk about her ass. Yeah. That prototype. Ooh, she had that nigga stuck. Her 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 children's father is still in love. Hundred three thousand still in love, and so it's common. You be still like, in love. Hey. Still. Yeah, let's go. Let's go out to the to the bar. Nah, <laughs> no, I think I'm just gonna go on cover America and shit. Hell yeah, I hold a booty all night. She's blessed. Don't fuck, but it's not yeah. just how fine she is. It's an aura. One of them artsy motherfuckers be. It's an aura. Than a motherfucker, like yeah. They be cause they be thinking of different shit that they can do to you and with you. <laughs> but she has an aura about her. It's just yeah. like this shit is magnetizing. <sighs> Jill Scott is like Not that for me too. Jill Scott too. She can Ooh. definitely get it. Jill Jilly Scott from Philly? Yeah. Oh my Ooh. god. Ooh. Ooh. I'm about to shake right now. Jill? Be like, I'll be, I'll Jill can get it. That's it. Right I'm with Jill Scott. <laughs> I'm never coming home. Yeah, she was on the I think she was on the Breakfast Club and she had said some shit. I was like, God. She said, You could tell me what to do. But you got to be able to tell me what to do. I was like, ooh, what did you oh tell me? Right. <laughs> so you could tell me what to do, but you got to be able to tell me what to do. I was like, ah, oh, yeah. That's Jill Scott, baby. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Jill Scott definitely for me. Jill and 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 and, and Erica. That's that. I put a video on her page today about mapping mapping out the sex. Like, I saw the that. The girl was like. You know, I let I let I like to map out the sex. Like I let the guy masturbate. masturbate so he can I like see that. what I do. Mm-hmm. I look at him masturbate. I was like, shit, where's my calligraphy? I, I need That's what they call mapping it out. Yeah. Okay. I, I need to be I mapped like out. That. I need motherfuckers to explore and <laughs> discover. Yeah, I like that. That Christopher Columbus yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah, because you need to know how, you know, like she said, how how your stroke is, where you like your pleasure to be, that shit makes perfect sense. Yeah, she's like if I if he's he stroking when he comes, he's gonna Stroking the head up, he's stroking the long stroke. Facts. I'm like, where is these hoes at? Why are they all on social media? Like, and see, see the rolls took all that shit away because that motherfucker just sitting in your clit. And y'all just, and then I want to see you with the dildo going in and out and how you do this shit. I like watching. Yeah, I like to watch that shit. I like to watch. I'm big on that shit. Yeah. If you use your hands, that's bonus. Okay, moving on. Oh, yeah, bonus. <laughs> She was here for right. it. Right. <laughs> yeah, because y'all was into it. I'm like, let me just let them. You could talk about that. Bye, shit. Out. I got nothing to say about that. You don't got nothing to say about that. You can talk about any coochie, but you can't talk about that. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. When last time I had sex? Ain't just the same. What's that anyway? You can still have a reference. She said, what? All right, she next, said, last time I had on. sex. I think that has nothing to do with shit. You have references. Um, moving on. <laughs> you got a reference point. Like you, you never got, had you got it. References. <laughs> like you never did it before. Um, Cardi B, and I think she's speaking mostly to uh, your girl from uh, Scotty Pippen's ex wife. She's saying if a nigga could do it four to five times a day, he he's on perks or he's trying to convince himself that he likes, actually likes pussy. No nigga should be able to do it that often in a day. She wasn't fucking him. She never said she was fucking him. <laughs> That's a good point. She, okay. know, she did, though. She said, she heard of Scotty, you know. She you know. probably had a couple women in there. She probably had a couple extra, Scotty had a lot of extra dicks on the side. A lot of yeah, injuries. Yeah, there was How no the way that he, he was fucking that like that. Road trips, all mm-hmm. that shit. Lies. You know what I'm saying? Four times a day for 23 years. I mean, and this whole culture is basically like, this is how you get your claim to fame, by saying something like that, that becomes popular. Attention seeker. You know what I mean? Explaining how much dick you can receive. Like, that literally made her talked about. So. Was well, she in her 50s, right? Early Some 50s weak well. shit. Yeah, she in her 50s. She probably had hella surgery done. The way how she looked, she had to. You know she had that coochie done. She had that vagina plasty. She had skin. 
No, she probably had it tightened. She had to, she probably she had probably went she to the doctor. The she had stitches in her shit. Steaming wasn't gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> not four times a day. Not yeah, not four times for a day. Twenty three years. Mm-mm. Nah. That coochie done ran through. Exactly. Exactly. Attention exactly. seeking. Exactly. Yeah. And she and, and she did get attention from it. She did. What about when you she was made pregnant? She made it seem like nothing that none of that mattered. She didn't care. She made she it seem care. like he wanted it nonstop. Mm. Four times, times a day, yeah. It's ridiculous. My dick blistering. I said, well, nigga, when did this nigga have time to go to practice? Like, leave me alone. When you trying to go be in the playoffs? Like, yeah. Can... Other right, yeah, see, you play them. Like, it's impossible. You would have yeah. just drained them if that, was, if that was true. That's pretty much when you dehydrate a nigga. Yeah, and now he don't have no energy. He on the court, tired, This dragging. nigga making triple doubles. There's no fucking yeah. way. Because you sucked all the juice <laughs> out of him. There's no fucking <laughs> way this nigga, this nigga was acting triple doubles. There's no fucking way you, that nigga had all the energy to block niggas, rebound, score the ball, and do all the shit he was doing. You know, he should have been passing out like Jordan the flu game from that shit, but no. Nah. That shit was even lame to say, like as though she should get props for that. I mean, that's that why. Lame. That's why Cardi B said nigga gotta be on perks or the honey pack. <laughs> that's all you got to think. What is the? Can y'all explain that? So what is the honey pack? It's like the, it's like a little aphrodisiac type thing, I guess. What is it? And I, it's it's like an enhancement thing. Have you had it? I tried it once, but it was, it was what like do you little, do? You just take the pack, the honey. You just, so you just eat it's the like honey? regular honey. Yeah. So what it do for you though is my question. It just make you go nonstop, pretty much. Honey, regular just peck of honey. No, it's it's enhanced with some other shit into it. Oh, yeah. so you gotta get it in a certain spot. You gotta get it like at the gas station with the other gas yeah, station really, pills. But not the pill. They got the honey packs the in gas there. Station honey. You know what I'm nah, about? You don't get it with the pill. But Nigga almost had a heart attack with the shit one time. He's like, bitch, he said, I am my heart is palpitating. No. He said, but your dick's hard. So. Yeah. You just it's, keep a going. Win-win. it's a win-win. It's a win. A win is a win. <laughs> Right. Kent, what's his name? Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels. Oh, that's his house. That he nigga died, went right? down bad. Yeah. He had, did he have a high value bitch that he died with? Or I mean, he, she was the the ethnicity of choice. She was a Latino. Well, that's his that's his preference. Yeah, because I remember he he was threatening black women. He said, "Black women, y'all don't need to be a, worried about white women. You need to be worried about Latinos." They got fat asses and they season their food. That's his, his exact word. Ooh. I said, "This Man, only thing that niggas look at." That's and true. then you got a fat ass, you can season your food. Man. That's it. They, they, they do cater their men heavy. They cater their men heavy. Heavy. Y'all speaking, of, speaking of somebody who's Spanish, Spanish, they they right. cater to their men mm, heavy. No comment. I do not know this to be no, true. You don't have to. I I'm telling you, as a Spanish man. Yeah. Yep. Facts. They'll feed your ass and all that shit. I think most of the motherfuckers do not work. They gotta be like, nah, nah, nah. Yeah. I'm worth eight jobs. You stay here. I got this. Yep. That's factory. That's factory. If you say so. I don't have to say so. I'm telling you for a fact. Nigga, please. I'm Panamanian. I'm nothing but Spanish girl. I'm, I'm telling Panamanian. You. I'm telling you. <laughs> that's what it is. You want to be combative because you're a black woman and you want to say that is. That's what the fuck it is. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you. That's oh, what it is. I'm combative because I'm yeah. a black woman? I'm just saying you've been black combative. Black women who listen to this show, please go ahead, show your ass hey, and be on here be. in the comments. How dare you talk to it? Protect black hey, women at all costs. Oh, here you go. Be com- do what the fuck y'all do. Protect Whatever us. y'all want to do. I'm just saying. You see how we get attacked? I'm not we being. I'm not getting. We can't even be soft uh, damsels in distress. Why? Oh my God. There you go. Why? Why? Yeah. Why? It's why soft damsels in distress? Yeah. Out. You see this? You see this hatred? What, There's no what hatred. happened to what happened to them? You know, being down for us. I don't know. Black and brown it's people. It's sad, all, really. It's all, it's all the same. I mean, minorities. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing perfect. Mention mines, please. April the ninth. Do not forget mines. That could be the first one you say if you, you know. No, I'm April not going to protect your birthday at all costs. <laughs> yes, you will. Jeez. You want to take your age? That's the least you could, no. That's the least you could do for a black woman. Don't do that. Because I, I got black women for, for, that have mothers, my children, so don't do that. Okay, well, work it out. Okay. Thank age you. is an illusion, so no need for me to tell it. Okay, tell it to R. Kelly. Whatever. Who has a new series out, by the way? I was watching this shit on the way over there. before. does. Out. A new Surviving R. Kelly what do you mean? just came out. Oh, it's really? a whole brand. I literally was watching it. Because when I saw it, just I was thinking, I said, is it another one? It's a brand oh, new wow. one. Four episodes. And I've seen every last one. They I'll updating check that you one out about too. his court cases and all the victims getting threatened, you know, like physically threatened. He's got to move like a bunch of times and all kinds of shit like that. So it was. The, mm, I'll check it out. Yeah. Four episodes. I was in. So I was like, oh shit, I got to go. But this shit was like, <laughs> this nigga still surviving him. Um, yeah, I got birthdays. You say, you say. Yep. <laughs> Rete. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. All right. Yeah. We're just talking about this gentleman. He's okay. considered the GOAT the most. Eddie Murphy, April 3rd, turned 62. Who the fuck cares? Yeah. Yeah. April 4th, actor Robert Downey Jr. turns 58. Uh, my girl, we just talked about her too. Jill Scott turned 51. Call me Jill. Get him some food. It took a long walk. Yeah. Tell long Jimmy to put the pistol oh, down. Oh, oh. Um, Kelly Price. She turns 50. <laughs> April 5th. We have my man Kid from Kid and Play. One of the most classic, uh, I think, cult classic movies of all time, in my opinion. She turns 59. All right. Pharrell, producer, super producer, turns 50. That nigga, like, he never aged. He's like, he's still fucking his 20s. Juicy J. Oh, my God. Juicy J. Especially yeah, I was in college. Uh, he birthday. turns 48. Um, yeah. April okay. 6th. My, my, this is How my grandmother and most of y'all grandmothers and mother's favorite guy. This is their version of Idris Elba. Julie D. Williams. Turn 86. You let my hands fall off. Yeah. This, is, this is their Denzel. This is their yeah. him and, and Harry Belafonte. And, and I remember my mom and grandmother would say, Oh, then Billy D can get it. I was like, Grandma, stop that shit. She was like, Yeah. He was like, Yeah. They were saying something else. They were saying something else. Yeah, it's the way you. It was the way it's the way you talk. That motherfucker was smooth, man. Yeah. What are you saying? Hey, we're gonna play the thing to blues, right? Star Wars, all that stuff. Right. And it was in the high Mahogany, right, right, right. And he had the Code 45 commercial. How could you go wrong with that, man? I was a nigga that everybody wanted to be like. Facts. Hey, facts. With malt liquor. Code 45 worked every time. Can't go with that. Um, April 7th, Mr. Jackie Chan he turned 69. You have There's actor Russell Crowe turns 59, and, and you have actor comedian Bill Bellamy turns 58, and April 9th, our very own Honey Wash. Is this like a candlestick to you? Blow on it. No eggplant pics, please. Happy birthday. I don't even know yet, you know? How do you not know? I don't you're know. Supposed to, yeah, I'm supposed to, you're supposed to be planning shit uh, uh, two months in advance. You don't really, you seriously don't know? I don't know. Oh, wow. Don't know yet. Okay, all right. Well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because most people know what the fuck they got. They got the whole shit planned. And it's on the weekend? Yeah. That's Sunday, right? It's on Easter this year. It's on Easter so, Sunday. Yeah. So I plan on resurrecting, you know? Oh, yeah. what? Spiritually, oh, spiritually, physically, mentally, yeah, it'd be a resurrection. That sounds like fun. Mm-hmm. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, is, is, do yeah, you what a better way to spend Easter Sunday than to be resurrected, right? Yeah. Hey, it's your she birthday. Knows, she never knew. Never knew what? What you never knew, Slick? We saw yeah. her. That was, your, that was the, her birthday was in the ninth? Oh, oh Aries gang. Aries gang. Leave a comment if you Aries. DM me. Follow me. Yes. Aries go from April what to what? Um, it's like March the twentieth through April the nineteenth, I believe, something uh, like that. My children Aries then. They both Aries. Aries gang. 15th and 16th. What is Aries? Oh, you do back to back. You do the sign stuff. What is that? What y'all? What's y'all thing? What you mean? For Aries, y'all know everybody got a little. Well, first of all, we Aries because our birthstone is is diamond. Diamond is actually our birthstone. And we're like the ram, you know what I'm saying? We're the very first sign in the in the zodiac. We're like the leader of the zodiac. Oh, I thought that was stubborn. That's what I was no, that's Taurus. Hard headed. That's Taurus. Okay. Yes. <laughs> that's right. That. Learn your astrology, sir, before you I try to I don't want speak to. that over me. I let y'all have that. That shit. <laughs> that shit too much. When niggas start talking about signs, like uh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna exit this conversation. But oh. Yeah, okay. it's too much. To, y'all memorize all that shit? Y'all know exactly the cutoff times and all that. Too much. Okay. You know, I like to study stuff. I so know you do. That's what, what I'm is. saying. I, I tend to 
tell you the date. I know my shit. <laughs> I don't know about else. You only supposed to study stuff that you find interesting. If you don't find it interesting, then don't study it. I know mine's and my kids. That's about it. What do you study? Human behavior. I mm-hmm. find that interesting. I'll psychology. Yeah, psychology. Oh. What do you know? Well, so I told you that you know that. No, because no. I wasn't gonna figure out what nothing to do with it. It's in public relations, but human behavior. Most of my books that I have is mm-hmm. about human behavior. Mm-hmm. Okay, what's the last said, book you read? Oh, you <laughs> you said, well, I, have a, I have a bachelor of science degree in psychology, so I'm just asking. I have, really, me too. In you, psychology. You said what now? I have a bachelor of science. Degree yes. In oh, I know that. We both got psychology degrees, <laughs> bachelors. <laughs> okay, you small <laughs> motherfucker. What do you got a master's in? Business administration. Okay. And what, and what, you, what else are you talking about? Your associate degree? I have two bachelors. What's your this other, other bachelor's? bachelor's? Oh, this nigga oh, I is know smart. That. Oh, wow. This I know nigga that. know math. I never science. knew. I he know a little bit of physics. I'm a chemical engineer. What happened? Oh. That's too much fucking math. <laughs> oh, you smart, smart. <laughs> yeah, that shit is a lot of math. I was hell, like, hella math. I was like, mmm. And psych- <laughs> psychology is too much writing. No, I like, I like Psychology was good. It was interesting. All the, all the, the journals I have, I yeah. have about 100. I yeah. Writing. Yeah. yeah, I kept I, my journals. See, too. I didn't know PR. Just, it's journalism in a sense. So I did a lot of writing with that shit. I mm-hmm. was like, God damn. You my wrote fucking, a lot of articles and different things. Yeah, mm-hmm. fucking my damn thesis. So you could do Other press releases. releases. My, my thesis right? was 52 pages long. You should do my press release. Uh, 52 pages? Yeah. Because I had, I, had, I had to create um, a program on Clark Atlanta's campus that they can that they can do after I, le- I left. Oh, and it okay. had to be presented amongst my, uh, the chairman of that department mm-hmm. and like five other teachers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it had to, and that person of that department could say, yeah, I could fucking roll with this yeah. five years after he leave or not. Damn thesis and I'm like, no. Fo- I do focus yeah. groups and all that shit. That shit was uh, literally my whole semester. Are you thinking to go further? Or are you thinking to get a doctorate? <laughs> no, oh, I hate probably you. could've got a doctorate had I did my dissertation, mm-hmm. but I didn't do it. Okay. <laughs> so you weren't interested enough? He was like, fuck like, it, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> like, it's, exa- it's exhausting. Back school is like, at first, I mean, because I, yeah. I went to college at 15, so I'm, I'm running. Oh, shit. I'm running to college. But you went to college at 15. Small motherfucker right here, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I went to college at 15. By, by 96, I was you know, 26 <laughs> years old. I had enough degrees for a, a lifetime. That's crazy. So then that's when you was like, okay, I'm good. At that point, you just was like, that's enough. Well, I, I, I went back in, in like 99, 99, mm-hmm. 2000. I was like, I'm good. I was done. It's intense. No one no one wants to do it. Group projects. You don't want to do this. All that shit like that. Books. Now you comedians. <laughs> <laughs> right. Putting all that school into grips. Using it for what it's supposed to be used right. for. <laughs> Debt. <laughs> Magic. Could have went right. to, could have got a drama degree for that. <laughs> Hello. I know. Who knew? Yeah. yeah. All right, y'all. Thanks for checking us out. Right. And if you missed the show, you can watch it on YouTube, iTunes, Google, uh, Google Play, iHeartRadio, uh, SoundCloud, Mixcloud, Spotify, Roku TV, Pandora, uh, Amazon Music, Facebook, Misfits of Comedy, Instagram, Misfits of Comedy, and what am I missing? Apple TV. Apple TV. That's <laughs> Apple TV. Wait. Apple TV. <laughs> Apple TV. Fuck, we on everything. You know what I'm saying? Check us back next week at 8 o'clock. Fuck with you about Apple TV. Oh, okay. This I was about to say. Yeah, because by next week, probably we'll do it. We're going to be on some other shit. Let's keep watching. All right? What? Peace. <laughs> Check. They be talking this and that. I need this, I need that. What about what I need, you know? Check. I need whoever won the Powerball to holler at me. I need women to stop thinking men and make them happy. I need Obama to say, fuck it, let me free Mumia. I need Def Jam to treat Jay the good as Bieber. I need my son to feel the cops wouldn't shoot him down. That's for Michael Brown. I need Nike and Jordan to build some high schools. I need Young Thugger to spend a summer with Ice Cube. I need my people drinking clean water up in Flint. I need nobody. Keep my camp low. This is it. I need the world to know I'm who Jaden is talking about.